Frank, thanks for spending time with us. You've spoken before about the significance of celebrating a year in space during National Hispanic American Heritage Month. Can you talk a little bit about the mentors in that community that helped you either during your career or during your flight as relevant? Thank you. And Elizabeth, I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I heard you right. Did you say uh, to talk about mentors? Is that correct? Exactly, mentors, or if you want to talk about more generally community members, thank you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, for me, mentors have been incredibly uh, impactful throughout my life, uh, especially in the military where you're changing jobs every uh, three years. You have the opportunity to work with uh, a tremendous breadth of great individuals out there. And I've seen the same at NASA. Uh, and I think every community, really, not just the uh, Latino community, um, but as a nation, I think we need to stand up more and more uh, and more men and women need to stand up and be role models for the younger generations. Uh, ultimately, the reality is none of us are perfect. Uh, I'm especially not perfect. Uh, and so I, I think the, the importance of role modeling is to show, hey, effort, attitude, uh, and when you mess up, kind of admitting it, admitting your mistakes, and uh, showing that resilience to, to do so and then get better after that. Uh, so again, I've been incredibly blessed. I hope that uh, my actions, more than anything, uh, serve as role models for, for uh, other kids. But the reality is there's, uh, I look at just my crew here and there's just incredible people. Uh, and if you just look around, I think there's uh, somebody out there that you can say, hey, I kind of want to be like that person, but then go out there and make your own story and uh, forge your own path and make your own contribution to our community.